Exactly. I believe that, and the, and the reason that that is because when you're in that fallen state, you're separated from the tree of life I of men. And so to be in sin like that, they call it sin, but the fallen state, it affects everything about you. Right, but it I think we, we, we both, think, we both agree you. that it was a medical yeah. illness. Do you think a medical illness a medical can illness. be... Sin so I you're, mean, you're saying that gender dysphoria is not a medical illness Christians now. have I've, tried opposing it for, for all of this time. Wanna, why, don't they try, do this. why don't they try a new tactic and try actually accepting it? No, you and should never accept wrong. And let's see what humanity looks like then. You should never accept evil. <laughs> But do, do, do you understand as you, what I'm saying? Something, so you, you don't think gender dysphoria is, is a medical condition? Because in my mind, something can either be a medical condition, which is diagnosable, treatable, and... That, it's, that's all irrelevant when, it, when you're dealing with religious zealots. Like, it doesn't matter what science says about am it. Because they just think that they're all uh, am I a liberals anyway. Are you calling me a zealot? I'm speaking for people that have no, similar are you calling me a religious zealot? I think so.